Why haven't we been to the fucking moon? Well, we have been. Why we'll haven't we been back to the moon? <laughs> how long? 50, it'll be 54 years. 54 years. We just went, we're like, oh, we, we don't need to explore yeah, think, that anymore. I think that there was, there was. It We've was, been it, there. Box checked. Yeah, it was expensive. It was expensive to go to the moon. And then it was also, um, we'd done it. And there was more focus on lower Earth orbit, right? We wanted to evolve that technology. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, again, the Chinese want to go to the moon. So at the south pole of the moon, there's ice. And ice means oxygen, ice means water, ice means life, right? So you have, I mean, that's the, a that's the key component. And um, the Chinese are trying to get there. We want to beat them back to the moon. And again, we're not going to go with our 1970s landers. It's going to be a lot bigger, bolder missions. But what's important is um, what we learn in the mission to the moon and how we do it on the moon and how we have sustained human life on the moon, how we have a base on the moon. What we learn there is going to help us get to Mars and, and beyond. That is the that is the way station, the the, the stepping stone to to go out and and and, and uh, explore other uh, other places in the universe. And so I think we were just, it, the organization wasn't focused. Um, the last administration hadn't. They were trying to pivot NASA into in, from human space exploration, which is by the way NASA is the only one that does human space exploration. No other agency does that, right? They were trying to turn it into a a climate change DEI. Um, organization. I just I actually I brought you a book. Um, oh boy! So this is this is what they spent a couple million dollars on a number of different comic books. So this is one that is the first uh, woman uh, in space, and there, but no problem with the first woman in space. But it's it's a it's a it's a book that is full of DEI and gender crap, as opposed to saying I I don't care what your color is. I don't care what your gender is. I want the best astronauts on these missions. That's what I want. And millions of dollars was spent on on books like this at NASA. Millions of dollars. As opposed to thinking of millions of dollars to invest in science and technology that's going to get us uh, to the moon before uh, the Chinese. And so what we've what we've had is again so you got to think so think about this so ten years ago I don't think anyone would have envisioned that we would have a space economy like we have right now and SpaceX and Elon Musk revolutionized kind of how we think about commercial space um, I don't know how much it used to cost to get a satellite in, a satellite into space but it was really expensive. What SpaceX has done has brought the cost down. I mean, for a small satellite, I think it's going to cost you three hundred thousand dollars. For a little bigger one, it's going to cost you a million dollars. But people can get companies can get satellites into space way cheaper than ever before. But no one would have thought about the space economy, but for this evolution um, in uh, in rocket rocket technology, Elon's ability to reuse rockets. Um, all fantastic, right? And so right now it's a six hundred billion dollar business. We'll be at a trillion dollars in in short order. It's the fastest growing part of the U.S. economy. Actually, is this part of it, and it's really important for uh, our national security mm -hmm. side of the aisle. We're we're civil, but there's a national security component to it as well. But on the flip side, uh, there's there's so to, I told you we're going back to the moon um, in early February. First time in 54 years. Uh, it's called Arctic. early February's in like a couple four of months. months. Yep, four months. Four months. Do you, do you know what the mission's called? No. Exactly. Do you know what Apollo is? What Apollo was? The Apollo missions. What do you mean? So NASA's Apollo mission it brought us. That was our that was our mission to the moon. Mm -hmm. Right. Everyone around the world knew what it was. Everyone knew NASA. Everyone knew what we were what we were about at NASA in the Apollo missions. To the moon. Everyone knew the the, the space shuttles, right? The, the the shuttle missions. Everyone knew what we did, and we are about to send first time in fifty four years, Artemis two back to the moon. And I bet you ninety seven percent of Americans have no idea that we're doing it and no idea what it is. It's a huge problem. So NASA lives off the fumes of what they did in the past. They're not living off what we're doing in the future. What's the vision for the future of NASA? What are the future missions? 
Where are we going? Wait, so we're going back to the moon in four months, in February. We're not going to land. We're going out and around the moon and coming back. Why are we or doing that? May, what's that? What are we going to learn from that? Um, so we're testing the technology, right? We, you want to take things in steps, mm -hmm. right? You just don't want to do everything in one step. You want to, you want to go through a, a stepping stone process. And this is, we're going to go back, right? Out and around, come back. Well, we did take a step 54 years ago. We did. But there's a but there's a reason to there there is a reason to go back. Um, I'm, no, I'm a, I'm with you. Yeah. Shouldn't the next step be a little bit bigger than the first? Oh, it will. So we're going to stay this time, right? That's that that <clears throat> is the that is the key component. And so um, we're going to we we gave a directive for uh, 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 surface vision technology, right? So we can have power on the surface of the moon. We think we can get that done by 2030, and you can have sustained human life missions, bringing products, um, uh, equipment to the moon surface. They don't, those don't have to be manned. But um, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be cool. We have, there's helium-3 on the moon, an amazing power source. If you bring some of that back to the back to Earth. So that's 100% true. There's helium. Yeah. Helium-3. We've had, we've had conflicting reports on that. We've heard that China is mining helium-3 off the moon actually right now. I don't, I don't know about that. But I think we want access to this remarkable power source, mm -hmm. right? Um, so again, that's just one. That's just one component of um, of what you might get from the moon. I, you don't know this better than I do. There was a time that uh, I, I don't know who said this, but he who controls the seas controls the world. Mm -hmm. But there was a time that that was. I think he who controls space controls the world. Mm -hmm. And I think part of that is the moon component. Um, and making sure that we're the ones that are there, and we come, we we do things differently, right? We have all of these international partners that are working with us, that believe in transparency and openness about what we're doing and how we're doing it. The Chinese have a very different model. There's no separation between the civil and military sides of their space. Um, and again, do we want to seed? I don't know if you, in your military experience, should we seed the moon to the Chinese? And are there any national security risks to that? Um, do I want to find out? I don't really yeah. want to find that out. But, um, but, the, but the point is we're late. We're delayed in our mission to the moon. And so what I've said is we're going we're gonna to open this up and let different companies compete to see who can get us there first, right? I want to get there um, before the Chinese, number one, and I want to get there before President Trump leaves office. That's what President Trump wants as well. He's given that directive. And so... Um, when you have companies compete, America wins. Um, I got two really rich guys that have space companies that want to compete against each other. And when they do, there's going to be great evolution in technology and a great race, not just against China, but against American companies to see who's going to get the honor of doing it first, of putting American astronauts back on the moon um, at this time. It's going to be almost 60 years since the last time we were there. Man. Which is so pretty cool. So in February, we're going around the moon. Yep. Have we ever done that before? Yeah, we did that. Well, we did that back um, in the 70s, right? We were there. Uh, but this is, we're going to go, I mean, we're going with way bigger equipment, mm -hmm. way more sophisticated equipment this time, which means it's more complicated. The complication of what we're trying to do today is different than what we did um, in, the, in, in the 70s, just because of the evolution of the technology. And so it's good to, it's, and by the way, what we, again, the technology that SpaceX is working on with their vision on how we get to the lunar surface with their landers is what we're going to actually need to, to get to, um, to Mars. What we're doing with fission technology on the, on the, on the lunar surface and the work we're doing on nuclear propulsion um, is also how you're going to get us to the uh, to Mars and, and back again. So a, a lot is happening, but you had this agency that was adrift, that wasn't really focused. And I've tried, and the short tenure I'm going to have there is to give it focus, give it a direction, um, and inspire it. And part of my job too is and is I got to I got to sell the missions. If America, and then you're like, we're going back to the moon in February? Like, what? Like, holy shit. It's like Dumb and Dumber. We landed on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, holy shit. It's amazing. Um, and that's, and I think that's, that's the mission. I think there's opportunities too to partner with one of the, the greatest brand in the world is NASA. 
global national brand, NASA is 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 premium. I think we can partner. We can't take partnership money at NASA, but we could partner with companies. Um, and in the partnership, we get them to advertise um, their product, but also our mission. Because Americans need to know what we're doing, why we're doing it. And when Americans know about it and they care about it, then the Congress cares about it and the Congress funds it. Um, and again, I think, I think that's a really important part of, of what the role is. What, what I've done and the next administrator will have to do as well is you gotta sell the mission, you gotta sell, you gotta sell the vision, you gotta stop living off the past. Let's let's inspire people for the future. I want the I want the I want the eight year old kid, you know, in somewhere in Missouri to not be like, we did this in nineteen seventy, that was great. No, like I want them to go, this is what we're doing right now. Like in my time, the cool shit that NASA's doing, I wanna do that too. Like I wanna be part of that. I want to give my life to this, you know, to this organization, this mission. I want to be an astronaut myself. But that takes us talking about it and talking about it passionately and effectively to let America know um, what it is and what we're doing. No matter where you're watching Sean Ryan show from, if you get anything out of this, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this everywhere you possibly can. And if you're feeling extra generous, Please leave us a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts.